Hello and welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to teach you how to create a type catalog file which will save you on um, creating all the different types within the family file and also make it so when you load that family file into a project you can hand pick which types you want uh, of that family so you don't have to load all the different types okay quite often what we do is we're in the family editor of this um, window family we've got some parameters let's just look at our types um, dialog box inside of here we have some different parameters for the height of the window okay the width of the window the batten width okay the batten width which is the width of this and then we have the arc rise okay and we have other parameters but we've got height batten width the width of the window and the arc rise and these are all type parameters if you go into modify you'll notice that the ones we're going to use are all type parameters so it's important that anything we're going to put in a type catalog is in fact a type parameter and what we want to be able to do is load in this window family and hand pick a bunch of different types notice within the family file there is no types okay we could go in here and hit new and new and new and let's say we had you know you could have 50 or 70 different variations of all these different parameters you'd have to go in and make them all one by one and the problem with that is every time you load this family into your project it's going to bring in all those types and you might only need one or two of them and it's going to bloat down your project file so we leave the family file with no types in it we make sure that all of the types are of um, all the properties and parameters we're going to use here are are using type not instance it's not going to work if it's an instance parameter we also want to note the spelling in the syntax height batten width arc rise look at the spelling it's got to be exactly the same in our type catalog file okay so we've tested and flexed this and we were made sure that at this point this family does flex properly when we go in and change these different parameters and we hit apply so we've done that already now we're ready to create our catalog file so we hit OK on that and then we open up something like notepad or or any sort of text editor I recommend notepad we take the file we save it look at the name of the family file is arch window tutorial dot rfa and our txt file is exactly the same to the letter dot txt and both of these files have to be saved in the same folder so same name same folder and then inside of here this is where we can go in and very quickly create all different types and then when we load the family we can hand pick whichever ones we want so look at the syntax here on the header we start with a comma then we have the parameter width double pound for a um, delimiter and it is a type length okay if we go back to our Revit here and we go into types you'll notice that when you go to say width or height those are factory built so we can't really change those but if you go to bat and width okay and you go to modify notice that it is a type length right here you see that it's a bit grayed out the same as our arc rise if you go modify it is the type length okay cancel cancel so that's what this is okay length and then the unit type are inches and then there's a comma so that's the width it is type length in inches height type length inches arc rise type length inches batten width type length inches so these are double pound symbols you can have a space inside of here if if there's a space between your actual parameter this is the parameter name this is the type of parameter this is the units so that that defines okay how this is going to go the first half of this is just a description and then there's a comma then a space then the number for the width the number for the height the number for the arc rise and the number for the batten width so if there's four fields here there has to be four different fields here notice the information starts with a comma right then it does this right there's this comma one field next field comma next field comma 
next field. One field, comma, two fields, comma, three field, four. This first part is what comes before the comma over here and you don't need to put information on that. So this is really the description of the type and these are the corresponding values for these four different fields. Notice that you can't put a single inch symbol. If you want to put inches you have to go double quote double quote and that'll get reduced to a single quote. Okay, over here at the back half, these ones you don't have to say inches because it knows it's inches because it says inches. Again, this is the description of the type, then there's a comma, and then there's the four fields. And these are the fields that will control those parameters. So I have a four foot by four foot by six inch arc rise by a four inch batten board, batten board width. Then down here, you know, I have Oh, I see a space in here, which doesn't matter. I can have that. But then I have a four foot wide by four foot high, 18 inch arc rise, four inch batten board, 48 by 48 by 18 by four. These are the critical numbers. Okay, this is just the description. This can be off. In fact, this can say whatever it wants. Okay, this first half here is not critical. It's the description only. These numbers here are what get plugged in and control it. You can have spaces in between in here just to kind of group them so they look a little bit better. So then in here you can cut and paste and make as many types as you want based on these fields and these numbers, okay, and these description. So there's the first group, then there's a comma. Okay? This comma represents this comma then this number is for these guys and this number is for this one and this number is for this one and this number is for this one note the comma this comma is that comma this comma is that comma and likewise along here so take a good look at that then what you do is you save this file Okay, file save, and then from there we go into our Revit and we start a new project. So we'll go in here and we'll go new project, start a new project, and then we'll draw a wall in there. So there's a new project, we'll just draw a quick wall, just so we have something to place our window on. Escape, escape, go to a 3D view, shift middle mouse button. Okay, now we say, okay, let's draw a window. So we say, okay, we go over to home and we say window. Then I'm going to load that window family. Okay, I'm going to navigate to the folder where my window and corresponding um, TXT file is. Okay, this is the folder. There's my file. And in that same folder is the exact same file that is this file. Okay, this file here is saved in the same place as this file. Okay, so then if I load this in, watch what happens. Revit automatically searches for a corresponding TXT file and look at that. There we have our type selector. Remember, this is the first half, then we have our four fields, then we have the name four fields. Okay, this information over here is these guys over here the first half of it before the first comma. Notice there's no commas in here. Your first comma is right there. Then bang, 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 bang. That is this. There's your. Notice that it's also taking those double inch symbols and converting them to single inches. So shift click to grab all of them at once. Bring those in. Revit's going to warn us that we're loading lots of different types. Do you want to? And I'm going to say yes then it's going to give me one of those windows and I can place it but the main thing is escape escape on the keyboard if I go down to my families and I go down to windows and I go to that arch window bingo okay there's all my different windows and using that txt file allows me to go in and create all those different types with all those different heights widths and batten board um, thicknesses from a txt file that's outside of Revit. So that's how you create a um, family type catalog file.